So we want to find the y-intercept of a graph. That means it's the y-value where the line crosses the y-axis on a graph. And we've talked about the equation y equals mx plus b, and we spent a lot of time on this letter m. That is your slope. When y is isolated, we know the number in front of x, the coefficient of x, m, is going to be our slope. The number that does not have a variable, okay, the constant, is going to be b, and that is your y-intercept. So here, the y-intercept, or b, equals, we want to look for the number without a variable, b equals 6. Here, I have m equal to 1, but we're more concerned about our y-intercept here, so b equals 6. What is the y-intercept of this equation? Okay, again, the number in front of x, the coefficient of x is my slope, so that's m. I want to find b. So I have b is the number after x, which is negative 9. Since it's minus 9, minus means negative. They are the same. So when you see minus 9, that means your y-intercept is negative 9. Here, what is the y-intercept of the graph? So b equals, let's look and see where the blue line crosses the y-axis. So I see right there is where it crosses, and that would be at 1 on the y-axis, because you go up 1, there's your y-intercept, there's your b. What is the y-intercept of the equation? Again, the coefficient of x, that's our slope. We want to find our y-intercept, or our b, which comes after the x and is negative 1. True or false? Every graph has a y-intercept. This is false. We'll get into that in a little bit. What is the y-intercept of the graph? So, again, we want to find b, and that is the point where the graph crosses the y-axis, and my b equals 3. Now, it's asking us a little refresher here for what we've been going over. So let's take this point we used, our y-intercept. Take this right point. Let's make a slope triangle here. I rose 1. I ran 2. Rise over run. My slope is 1 half. What letter represents the y-intercept of equation in slope-intercept form? That is going to be at B.